Rail workers warn of exodus after Congress forces through deal. I don't think you'll just see half of the workforce disappear. But you'll see a good percentage. And we can't afford for anybody to leave because we're so undermanned as it is, said Hugh Sawyer. An Atlanta-based engineer at Norfolk Southern. Workers say that some employees could leave as soon as they receive back pay and cash bonuses which will average roughly $16,000 per person. Railroads will dole out that money within 60 days. HTTPS www.yahoo.com slash news slash no paid sick leave could 110000705.html Duh? Been saying that for months. Even when they force them from striking can't force them from quitting. Which. The sooner the goddamn better. Let the management feel all the effects of a strike one way or another. The writing is on the wall. Large portion of the folks with less than 20 years of service are leaving after the back pay hits. Their accounts to move on to either similar trade jobs offering better work-life balance or just. Elsewhere. Most people don't know the pay isn't what it's made out to believe in the BS media. In reality, after all the deductions including the Tier 2 tax, healthcare, and other inclusionary ones RRERs only bring home about 60% of their pay while average Americans, and especially other union trade jobs are closer to 7,275%. I cannot tell y'all how many I've seen retire after their 30 years and die less than 3 years later. Never enjoying one second of their life. Even if 15% leave, they are screwed. You can't just plug in fresh recruits of the street like retail. Congress forcing a deal was very short-sighted. They're trying to protect the economy protect it for whom? These are the people who need the economy to work for them. These people are the economy's backbone. This rabble you're talking about. They do most of the working and paying and living and dying in this community. Well is it too much to have them work and pay and live and die in a couple of decent rooms and a bath? This is the thing the workers know the sick days were needed for retention and recruiting knew they are understaffed and it would just get worse. Management just doesn't understand the issue to their own detriment. Can't blame them. Shit I'd leave my job the next day if they told me no sick days. I'm thinking the forced recession the Fed is trying to put us into may change a lot of their minds. Don't blame them. Today I say an article that stated that shareholders were requesting that the rail company give the workers these sick days. I hope it's as true. Do I T. Not just for rail workers. But labor all over the globe. Show them what happens when labor unites and refuses to be taken advantage of. Illegal to strike? Lol okay then I quit, screw that. This is the consensus from union rail workers here on Reddit. Is this the start for the lead up to the bell riots? I am a bleeding heart. Pro-union liberal democrat and I am ashamed right now. Given the opportunity to side with the, the hard-working men and women that transport our goods. The democrats failed them. They gave the citizens a big middle fingers to you all. They decided to vote where the money is and sided with the corporations. I hope all you get involved and vote out the Democrats who voted for this slap in the face. Other countries offer mandatory sick time. Our government could even have the decency to give rail employees some sick days. God bless you all and I hear off brand preparation H is a good as the main brand. It will help with the pain in your ass after what the government did to you. This has been what the rail company has been pushing them to. They want to gut their labor force and eventually force Congress to legalize fully autonomous trains. No matter how dangerous. 
Good. Workers of the world unite. Good for them. I would have been looking for another job as soon as I saw the government side with the corporations. Oh gee, they end up quitting and then what will the railway companies do or the Congress for that matter? Please do, there have to be some workers in the US with some backbone. They weren't striking because they hated their jobs. They have built a career and life around their industry and they are striking because they wanted to stay. It looks like the railroad gets to find out how much labor contributes to profits when a double digit percentage of their skilled workforce leaves. All these people saying good for them to find better work elsewhere not realizing the broad implications of this happening. This recession is going to hit like a truck. Imagine all these supply chain issues that have shut down many businesses and changed wait times for delivery from 24 days to two weeks or a month. Then one of the largest logistical networks in the US, 28% of the United States freight is moved by rail will essentially be crippled. I am all for workers' rights and getting the pay people deserve. However, this will destroy many, many jobs out there and the ability for other employers to actually provide the benefits they currently provide. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.